Hi Church, I hope you're all doing really well. My name's Ruben, I'm part of the creative worship team and also attend the mighty, mighty North location as well. So if you've never been there or if there's any campus or location you've never been to before, I'd 100% recommend that you go and check that place out because they're all fantastic. Now I'm going to share something with you that's that's stuck with me for a few years now actually um, and so it's a, a privilege to, to share this devotional with you. Uh, I hope it helps you, I hope it encourages you and hope that it raises your faith as well. So a couple of years ago, um, finished reading what I was reading in the Bible and went back to the start of the New Testament to Matthew and when I got to Matthew 9 verses 21 to 31 in particular it just really stuck with me so I'll give you a bit of context uh, Jesus is doing his thing and these these men approach him and ask for healing and he he asks them do you believe that I am able to do this and they say yes so from verse 29 it says then he touched their eyes and said according to your faith let it be done to you and their sight was restored. Now this this is the bit that really got to me. So it says, Jesus warned them sternly, see that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread the news about him all over that region. And when I when I first read that, I was thinking, well, of course they did. That's that's an amazing miracle. Surely you'd want everyone to know about this amazing healer that can can do all these things. Um, and as I was thinking that, God really quickly spoke to me and just told me to look it up. Uh, so I did. And uh, there's a few different reasons as to why, you know, sometimes Jesus said it was OK to to tell tell some people about a, a healing. Or he would say, do what Moses commanded, go to the, the priest first and get it checked out. But then there are a few occasions where Jesus actually says, don't tell anyone. Um, and and I believe that uh, that well the main reason I believe is that he didn't just want Jesus didn't want to just be known as some insurance policy. He didn't want people focused purely on the physical healing, and just didn't didn't want to be known as that miracle guy. Uh, he wanted people to be focused on the word that he actually had to bring. And the bottom line is. The spiritual healing is infinitely more important than the physical healing. Don't get me wrong, the the physical healing is fantastic um, and Jesus has done it. He will do it again. And there's so many times in the Bible where he did heal and he does it because he has compassion on us all. But that's another devotion for another time. Um, but yeah, like I said, he, he wants to bring spiritual healing to a sin sick world and ever since this realization has come to me uh, my passion for unsaved people has just risen dramatically and um, so my encouragement for you is that friend that family member that colleague or whoever it is that that doesn't know him or has once known God and no longer walks with him um, just go again pray for them start that conversation and and ask god to help you um, so i'm going to pray now oh, thank you lord that you you love us equally you love us unconditionally i pray that you will raise our passion for for the unsaved those that, that don't know you or have once walked with you and no longer walk with you I pray that you'll give us the strength to speak about you, that you'll fill your sorry fill us with your spirit, that you'll guide us to to do it in the in the best way possible and at the best time as well. I pray that you'll help us to speak like you. Uh, in your name, I pray. Amen. Have a great week, church, and uh, hopefully, I'll get to see you soon.